Hello, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnel Custodio, and we will be showing you how to redirect a domain in cPanel. We will guide you through the steps to create a redirect in cPanel, and also show you what is affected when the redirect is complete. Note that this tutorial is using the cPanel interface provided in an InMotion Hosting account. If you are using a different interface, then the steps for a domain redirect will differ. Let's start by redefining a redirect. In essence, what you're doing is setting a URL to go to a different location than it would normally go. For example, if you had a domain called example.com and you wanted it to go to example.net, then you would use a redirect to do that. There are two types of redirects that you can create, a permanent or 301 and a temporary or 302. The cPanel interface allows you to define how you want your redirect to work without writing code. The redirect application in cPanel automatically writes the code for you in the htaccess file. Basically, whenever the website is running, it gets configuration information from the htaccess file. So when a redirect is written, it applies to the URL anytime the site is accessed. To learn more about the htaccess file, you can go to our support center for other helpful articles. Here, we're going to look at the htaccess file before the redirect is added in cPanel. We'll also look at the file after the redirect has been added. To look at the htaccess file, you have to log into cPanel, then go to the file manager. The htaccess file is a hidden file and will be visible only if the show hidden file setting is checked in the settings for file manager. The htaccess file that we are viewing here shows that there is no redirect code in the file. Go back to the cPanel menu page and then click on the redirects icon. On the redirects page, click on the drop down menu to select the domain that you wish to redirect. There is an option to select all domains on the account or you can select a specific one. Domains, other than the primary domain, that you want to redirect with cPanel will need to be added as an add-on domain before they are selectable in the drop-down menu. You can also type in a specific directory. For example, if you have a folder in your website files called Folder1, then you can type in Folder1 in the next field to redirect from that folder. In the field labeled Redirects2, you can type in where you want the domain to be redirected. Next, you can set the redirect to work only with the www, with or without the www, or not to redirect with the www. There is also an option for wildcard redirect. As per the note, checking the wildcard redirect box will redirect all files within a directory to the same file name in the redirected directory. Click on Add to save the redirect. You will see a screen confirming the addition of the redirect. Then, when you look at the current redirects list, at the bottom of the page, you will see the added redirect. Now we're going to look at the htaccess file after the redirect has been saved. You can see the added redirect code. That completes our tutorial on using cPanel to redirect a domain on your account. If you liked our tutorial, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.